All leadership involves two things. It involves having a direction to go, so somewhere to lead, and it involves then bringing energy. So if you have no direction, you're not going anywhere. I mean, if you're not going somewhere, there's, there is no leadership. So all leadership is about going somewhere. But you then also need energy. If there's no energy, you, don't, you also are not going. So uh, what authentic leadership brings is the way in which we bring both direction and energy into a team or an organization or a company. In authentic leadership, the, the direction comes not just from the, the, let's say, the ego or the interest of just the leader, but the leader is, has a, a vision that is for the whole system. So one key difference in uh, authentic leadership is that it is always coming from vision. Secondly, okay, again, all leadership is about bringing uh, energies, which is about influence. So leaders need to influence the people and the team, and the organization. In authentic leadership, that influence comes as a function of the of inspiration from the presence and the, the person and personality of the leader, as opposed to something like, you know, coercion, pressure, command, uh, you know, force. So so or even or even reward. An authentic leader doesn't necessarily need to re to reward. So uh, the authenticity comes, uh, in fact, the, the, the basic definition of authenticity is an emotionally genuine, appropriate, significant, purposive, and responsible mode of human life. So emotionally appropriate, genuine, uh, significant, and purposive. So if we put those things together, we see that authentic leadership is about being emotionally genuine, it's about get, being significant, purposive, and responsible. So, so the reason that people <clears throat> follow uh, authentic leaders is because they see this is somebody who walks their talk. This is somebody who is going somewhere meaningful. This is somebody who we can trust. And, and perhaps the, the most important Part of authentic leadership is that authentic leaders uh, are, are able to generate a large amount of trust in people. If you're not authentic, you don't get trust. So, um, so I think this is these are some of the main differences. Um, that I mean the, the opposite of authenticity is is not necessarily. I mean, you could say it's inauthentic, and we, we, I would say that it's not so much that leaders are inauthentic, but you know, I think authentic leadership really focuses on this sense of being, you know, fully, um, fully congruent and, you know, walking your talk. And so especially then during, you know, very difficult times, um, people have a, a strong trust. Well, so... So again, first of all, I think what, just to, to summarize what it takes to be an authentic leader is you need to, you need to have a, a, a sense of congruence. And that congruence, by the way, comes from a certain amount of self-awareness and self-mastery. So first of all, authentic leaders are self-aware because you, you can't be authentic if you don't know yourself, if you're not aware of yourself. Secondly, we said that authentic leaders have a vision for the whole system. That is, they're, because they are serving, they're in service of the, the whole system, their, their vision includes that. And then there's, we said that they are aligned. This congruence comes from an alignment of their actions with their values, with their vision, and with what needs to be done for the system. So... And then, as we said, that the key to that, and, and sort of certainly one of the results of all of that, is a, it creates a deep sense of trust. So that, especially in challenging times when there's when people are put in a position of having to take a risk, 
they're going to be much more likely to be willing to, you know, to follow, to go, because there is that sense of trust. I think secondly, what you get is what, what comes from authentic leadership is very, you know, genuine, um, let's say, you know, uh, genuine, purposeful, meaningful actions on the parts of the people who are in the team. Um, so the, uh, I think I, I was thinking of, um, a, uh, a person that I was, um, coaching recently and it was very interesting. He is a very, was very successful and had achieved a lot, uh, in the, in the outer area. I mean, he, he has, he was at the time about 38 years old. He was already the, the chief executive of his division, um, and which was had been growing through this time of uh, economic crisis. Uh, there was, I think, they were making something like uh, nine billion euros a year. So it was very outwardly successful. But when he came to talk to me, he said, "Yes, he said I, I have a very stable position. I'm very successful." Um, I have a, I make, I get a lot of uh, acknowledgement, but he said, the problem is when I go to work, the way he put it, he said, there's no sparkle in my eye. And he said, I'm going to be, you know, as the head of this division, I could be here another 20 years and I can't imagine coming to work every day with no sparkle in the eye. And so when we started talking about what would bring the sparkle in, in his eye, it was all these things that we were just talking about the sense of having some kind of a bigger vision, of feeling a sense of purpose. And, um, and so we started, at, at first he thought he was going to have to leave that company in order to find that, but, but ultimately, and I think this is important, what he realized is that it really wasn't so much about the outer environment. And I think this is key to authentic leadership. It was really about shifting his own mindset and realizing that, ultimately being an authentic leader was up to him. Now, as it turned out, he didn't leave the company. He stayed and really made a big shift. And, and today, he's the CEO of the whole company. So, uh, so this, to me, is a, is a good example of what's the benefit of authentic leadership because I think it benefits. It's, it's really a truly it's a win-win form of leadership he gets to sparkle in his eye, but as a result of that, right, he feels the sense of aliveness, of, of emotional genuineness, and that radiates out to, to everybody else. And it's, again, it's, it's inspiring. It creates inspiration and trust. There is, there is a relationship between what we would call authentic leadership and alpha leadership. And alpha leadership comes from a, a book that I wrote with two of my colleagues where we were looking at what made uh, truly successful leaders. And so the alpha leadership model has basically three different parts to it. We say that uh, a successful leader, according to alpha leadership, has to anticipate, align, and act. Anticipate, align, and act. So in addition to being authentic, these three things are what then give uh, a, a uh, movement to the, to the leader. So as we said, a leader has to go in, in a direction. So alpha leaders anticipate uh, the future. You need, we need to look ahead. I think it was John Scully who was uh, the, um, the CEO of Apple in between the time that Steve Jobs was there. He realized and, and, and pointed out, he said, the future belongs to those who can see what's coming before it's obvious to everybody else. So this is the idea of anticipating. And, and in the alpha leadership model, we use the, the metaphor of the difference between bats and frogs. So both bats and frogs eat flying insects, right? But a frog sits and waits until the, the fly comes in, and it's very obvious. Uh, and in fact, for a frog to catch a fly, it has to be moving in a very certain way. A frog can starve to death in a box of flies if the flies don't move. 
bats have these ears and they fly and they're looking for it. Uh, they look for their, their food. And now you might say, well, great, that's just two different strategies. But the, one of the most important things is that the average life of a frog is only two years. The average life of most bats is about 40 to 50 years. So this anticipating strategy is necessary for a much longer sustainable lifespan. Then when we talk about aligning, and aligning of course is very significant with respect to the authentic leadership because aligning means that everybody is you know, fo first focused on that, that same outcome and they are, um, everybody is acting in coordination. One of the things that we often use to talk about alignment is the difference between uh, geese and canaries. Right? Canaries are very beautiful, but they're all singing for their own attention. Geese have to travel long distances, sometimes many thousands of miles. And so for the geese to work as a team, they all have to have a common sense of direction. And the leader of the geese, uh, when the, you know, the geese fly in a V, and the reason they fly that way is because when, when one goose flaps his wings, it makes a little bit of an updraft, right, it, the air. So if the one flies just right behind him, it's easier to fly because he's using the energy of the one in front of him. And actually, geese can fly almost twice as far when they fly as a group than if they fly by themselves. So... And now, so the, the leader goose is the only one where nobody is in front of him. So he's the one that actually has to give, the, you know, he's the one that supplies the inspiration and the energy to the ones behind. So to me, this is this idea of alignment. The first one has the hardest job. The others are riding on the inspiration of that. Now, the last part, act. So anticipate, align, and act. And to act, of course, this is the whole notion of bringing uh, energy. And in the alpha leadership model, we often talk about the difference between a horse whisperer and a horse breaker. Horse breaker tries to dominate the horse, ties the horse up, you know, they call it breaks the will of the horse so that it, it d dominates. But it's very violent to the horse. It sometimes also takes weeks. The horse whisperer is uh, interestingly is much less violent but actually much more effective and takes much less time because the horse whisperer understands the horse the horse whisperer knows how to speak the horse's language actually it can read the signals of the horse and it gets the horse to they say they call it join up join up and follow up so they use again trust and and uh, uh, this a sense of um, a rapport and connection to reach action. And I think you see that in, you know, a lot of the, the, the greatest leaders, you know, people, people talk about uh, somebody like Steve Jobs, that even though his personality was not particularly f a friendly, all the people that worked for him said, of course, I would always work for Steve Jobs again because it's inspirational even if he's even if he's not particularly the, the the nicest person, he's completely authentic. They said, even if people didn't didn't necessarily like his personality, everybody respected him. So you get, I think, this is that sense of, and, and he he said, basically, he said, when some when I hire somebody uh, to work for Apple, especially somebody senior, he, he said, obviously, their competence is 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 important said, but the real question is, do they fall in love with Apple? He says, if they fall in love with Apple, then I know everything will sort itself out. And I think this is that notion of, you know, when we talk about the geese flying, it, it's that, that sense of uh, really connecting with something bigger than, than we are as individuals. And yet we still stay an individual. And I think this is the whole notion of authentic leadership. You are fully committed, and yet you are, uh, and you're fully present with all of yourself, but you're part of and committed to something bigger than yourself. So uh, what, we'll, what we're going to be exploring in the program is both of those two things, right? So we could say alpha leadership is essentially authentic leadership in action, right? 
So anticipate, align, act. But without the authentic leadership, you you become just a, a kind of it could be a dictator uh, or or just a you know a, a commander. So um, so I think that's how that's that's the value of bringing both of these together. It really makes for very powerful, effective, and um, inspiring leadership. <laughs> 